Hello everybody, today I will be showing you how to create an online quiz in under 5 minutes with myquiz.org. Now here we're on the myquiz.org homepage. Let's say I want to create a Halloween quiz for my colleagues. To create a quiz on myquiz.org, we first have to register an account. Click on login. If you already have an account, put in your credentials here. If not, click on sign up. Accept the policy, state if you're 16 years or older, and now you can sign up with Facebook, Google, or email. I'll choose email. As you can see, I have all my credentials in place, and I'll click sign up. Once I'm logged in, in the upper right corner, I see my plan, which is the basic plan and allows up to 25 players per game. We have paid plans which allow for up to 100,000 concurrent players per quiz. As you can see, I am currently on the My Quizzes section. Here we see three tabs, Multiplayer, Single Player, and Team Mode. Multiplayer Mode is the standard free-for-all game mode where players compete at the same time against each other for the highest score. With Single Player Mode, you can create a quiz that can be played at any time and players compete for the overall best score. Team Mode is similar to Multiplayer, but players are placed on teams and play against other teams for the best combined score. You can watch our detailed tutorial for each mode by clicking on the link, and if you are interested in single player and team mode, contact sales at myquiz.org. For today's tutorial, I will be making a multiplayer game. To create a quiz, we need to press create a quiz. Now on the left here, we'll have all our settings for the game mode, and on the right, we'll have the questions. So in the what section of the settings, we put our quiz name, quiz description, and you can upload a quiz cover from your own images, from a YouTube video, or from my quizzes stock image pile. That's pretty spooky, I think I'll go with that. As you can see, I have the what section complete, and then I move over to the when section. This is where you select the time your quiz will play, if you want it to start automatically, you can click yes, or if you want to do it manually, you can click no. You can also put some default time settings per question. In the for whom section, we have settings for those with paid plans. We also have sign in options here where you can make people sign in only through these certain accounts. You can read all about the other sections by hovering on the little I. In the house section, there are several other settings that you can read about. Here you can also set a secret word that your winner will receive. They can then send that secret word to the email that you provide here. Moving over to the questions tab, we have five different types of questions we can choose from. With the free plan, you only have access to the multiple choice question. The other question types are described below their picture. Here's where you'll create each individual question. You can add your own image or one from the library or YouTube video. You can also add an explanation that will display along with the correct answer. I've switched over to a paid account for the sake of demonstration and created three questions. The first two questions could have been made with the free plan, while the third question is a polling question and can be made only with a paid plan. Polling questions are great ways to gather opinions and ideas. Saving the quiz and pressing OK, we return back to the My Quizzes tab. To run a quiz, we first have to launch the waiting screens to allow players to connect to the game, or it can start automatically if you have it set up like that in settings. Looks like we have everyone connected. Let's start the game. While you run the quiz, you can stop it at any time, you can pause it, or move on to the next question. In the bottom right, you will see a leaderboard which will show the players in order of highest score. And over here on the left, we're showing you what it looks like on a mobile device. And here's the poll question that's included with the paid plans. And here are the polling results, which is a great way to gather opinions and ideas. Once the quiz is over, you can go to the Archive tab. 
you will see the quiz that you just ran. Click on the little settings icon. And here you can export your quiz results to Excel. And that's how you create a MyQuiz in under 5 minutes on myquiz.org.